Hello, my crypto friends. I welcome you back to another episode of What in the World Just Happened? Yesterday was a crazy day for crypto. I mean, we had ourselves the BlackRock announcement. We had ourselves the Trump announcement. The price went up a lot. And next to that, the inflows were extremely high. They just continued on the note that we were going at before uh, with roughly $300 million worth of inflows yesterday. BlackRock, $117 million. And we had ourselves... Arc actually with a new record number it seems not overall but at least record for like the last few weeks or so and we're just at really really bullish points with as you can see right here Bitcoin going to sixty four thousand dollars Ethereum to thirty five hundred XRP eh, about fifty three cents right now but it's still doing rather good and some meme coins like Pepe actually whoa holy smokes Pepe being up thirty percent. I posted a little story on my Instagram yesterday about uh, the hat from Whiff, but I didn't expect it to be up like 25% today. That is massive. So meme coins are in a really good spot. Pepe, Whiff, Floki, Bank, they're all up a ton. My core is also up nicely. Shiba Inu is up 8% as well. So generally speaking, a really, really amazing day for crypto. And that's actually kind of funny that I put a tweet up yesterday that I might want to maybe two days ago, that I might go all in on meme coins. If I did, that would have been a nice surprise to wake up. But that's not what I'm making the video about here. No, part of me wants to say you should quickly head over to my Instagram and make sure you go follow it if you're interested in all that. And you know, a little bit more of the personal life, why not? And second of all, because all good, right? All these announcements, like for example, uh, Trump's vice president being a really big crypto holder, for some reason, have to be followed up by another nuke. What I'm talking about is Mt. Gox. We all know that the last month there has been filled with speculation about Germany dumping, which they did, and they're actually out of coins. I don't remember exactly how much they had, if it's 1.5 billion or 3 billion in total. Don't really matter to anybody how much they had because it's all gone now. Anyway, we of course had some fun about the US government dumping because they have tons of Bitcoin and Mt. Gox starting the redistributions having $9 billion to dump. Now, that was a big thing the last few weeks. Everybody's eyes, though, were focused on Germany because they were selling the fastest and were quick to sell it all out. Mt. Gox, even though it's not a direct sell, it's actually a redistribution of people who then might or might not sell. Obviously, it's quite significantly different. Right now, the numbers that are coming out are making people fearful again. So the Bitcoin price, I think was like 64,000 doing really, really well hours ago until all of a sudden an announcement came out. Mt. Gox continued large movements to unknown wallets, just transferred $3 billion to an address. One little side note I'll give, by the way, which is actually also kind of interesting, is that whatever you see when it comes to dumping, just know that it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to quickly make you guys aware that almost nothing that they can push on us does matter. Um, for example, even in Japan here, where I am, by the way, public company MetaPlanet bought another 200 million yen worth of Bitcoin. 200 million yen, it ain't that much money. It's about the principle, I think, that counts here. <laughs> Because they just bought like 22 Bitcoin. Uh, in total, they've got 225 Bitcoin. It's about the idea that they would just keep stacking up. But I like to combine that with this public company together with all the massive ETF inflows that we're seeing, which just show me people, even now at 64,000, still want to accumulate and still think it's wise to just... Just think about it for a second. The CEO of the largest money managers, asset managers in the world just said, hey... I really understand why people would want to have this currency. A counter is we don't know how much he owns himself. So maybe he's just saying that so people will buy and sell, obviously making him money through the fees. But on the opposite side, yes, it's one of BlackRock's most interesting and new products right now, but it's not like their livelihood depends on it. It's different than things like MicroStrategy, which for the most part are literally Bitcoin holders. It's their thing. Where, again, if BlackRock now all of a sudden shuts down their Bitcoin department, nobody will notice a difference in the company. Obviously, some people get fired, then, <laughs> probably, but you understand the concept. Where BlackRock, it's an extra new thing. It's cool. But I personally think it makes more sense for somebody like Larry Fink to say, hey, you know what? It makes a lot of sense. I definitely think it's uh, finding its place and people have a good reason to buy. I think that makes more sense for him to say that when indeed he does also believe it will do well, at least in terms of volatility, so bigger moves uh, with a general trend being upwards, rather than mostly downwards and no movement at all. 
because that would make him look kind of stupid. Now, you might say, well, seven years ago, he said Bitcoin was not that good of an investment. You know, it was uh, some, some money laundering scheme or whatever he said at the time. But can you really blame him? I think most people, before they look into Bitcoin, many people have heard about Bitcoin 10 years ago, 15 years ago. But most people, until they really started to sit down and take a good look, they thought it was either a scam or it was too good to be true or something along those lines. It's only once you really start focusing in on it that you really start understanding why it makes such a whole bunch, bunch of sense. So for all the people that were naysayers before, I do not mind that. Regardless, guys, are you understanding what I'm understanding? The freaking media wants to really keep pushing this whole black or uh, i'm sorry black rock this whole mount gox narrative of, oh they're moving so much crypto be afraid be scared yabba dabba mother freaking do we just got ourselves another breaking info statement piece uh so first of all an hour ago 5.8 billion mount gox dollars worth of bitcoin on the move so today they moved you got 92,000 bitcoin six billion dollars this morning uh, and just 10 minutes ago Kraken says, successfully received funds from Mt. Gox trustee, who work to distribute within 7 to 14 days. So that is just in 5 to 10 minutes ago. You can see uh, this headline news outlet posted it 5 minutes ago. I wonder if the Bitcoin price will dump because of that, primarily because people get afraid that this will flood the market with all these Bitcoin. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We're in a bit of a predicament because the Ethereum ETF starts launching in about a week from now, right? But then on the opposite side, exactly uh, one to two weeks from now, we're going to be seeing ourselves the, uh, I'm just quickly trying to open up a chart as well. No, the price of Bitcoin has not dumped just quite yet, right? Because this is the one minute chart. And you might say, oh, the announcement might have been said right here. And that's why prices fell. Could be. Uh, because the price dropped from 63.65 to 63.1, so $500 down. But that kind of depends on where the information was shared first. This news came out roughly 11 minutes ago, so uh, about 4 after 8. So that would be right this minute right here. So the next minute was kind of down. But it, it's hard to say where the news first dropped. Anyway, I wanted to say while that is all happening, though, I just keep on realizing that the biggest bull market is upon us and that whatever they're trying to feed you, spoon feed you it's all to mess with your brain again just realize for yourself a few months from now we'll be up so much yes there might be some very dark times in the midst because of this mount gox situation because they want to shake you out and make you sell but think a few months ahead i know guys they're moving in billions of dollars it's scary it's scary but that was known for many many years that's one second of all we had the scare in terms of price from all this weeks back there's nothing new so even if they're moving all their dollars and now it's been confirmed within two weeks, some massive dumps might start. First of all, they might not actually sell too much. It's one. And second of all, uh, and wait, let's actually stay with point one. Because they also know we're at the start of the bull run. Yes, they might be up like a 10 or 15, 20 X from their the time where they lost their Bitcoin. I think many of them are still early crypto adopters. So they'd rather keep it for price increases. Uh, but point number two is regardless of their selling pressure, the ETFs, They'll probably be buying it up. It ain't matter too much. And again, a few months afterwards, though, up only as altcoin ETFs also come in and things just get crazy. Perhaps Trump next week as well is going to let go of some crazy announcement. We'll see.